Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here from Serpent X Tech. Got a quick video for you. I just wanted to show you this. I'm using LOL Miner to run uh, to mine Gram. It doesn't matter which algorithm I'm mining, but this is version 1.86 beta. And you can see that I'm doing about 4,065, 4,050 mega hash on Gram right now at around 158 watts. It comes down when I'm recording. So just disregard that. My average is about 40, 50 or 40, 60. Uh, and in order to mine, right, with our set clocks, in our batch file, we have to set the core offset, lock clocks, all that good stuff, right? That's good, but something that I noticed is when we restart it, uh, it just keeps going down even further. Let me see if I can show this to you. But in order to get those clocks to work, you always have to right-click uh, the actual program or EXE file properties, compatibility, run as administrator, right? And apply OK. And then when you double-click it, two windows pop up, right? But when I close this down and I relaunch it, what I've been noticing is it kind of goes down even further. Like the clocks, you can see over here, let's see. So the clocks drop down, but sometimes the clocks, memory, core clock, whatever, will just lock. And no matter what I do, it just won't go above those clocks. So right now it's jumped up to 1800. So it looks good. Everything is perfect. So like, let's try to launch this one more time and see what happens. So here's the first one that pops up. And then here's the second window that pops up. Close out the first one. Here's the second one. I want to see what it stabilizes at because it's applying those clocks, right? But sometimes those clocks get stuck. And then you exit the miner, you go play a game, or you jump on Discord, or you try to record a video. Um and those clocks don't reset. It should reset. When you close the monitor, it should reset, but it won't oftentimes do that. Keep an eye on that. Use hardware info and keep an eye on that. Because if you close the miner and it doesn't reset the clocks and you try to go play a 3D render or, or, or game or whatever that requires you know 3D acceleration, compute performance, whatever it might be, it's going to apply those clocks to that game so you're missing some performance so just make sure you're paying attention to that also if i launch this miner and those clocks did not reset it's almost it almost feels like it's applying these clocks to those clocks and the best i've seen this on was for example on ironfish or fish hash right so i also have that in there where i did some content on it um and i got new iron hero and then i even have iron on uh cryptex but basically, I closed this miner, um, you know, I did my thing, and then I reopened it, and I couldn't get above uh, the, the previous hash rate, my consistent hash rate that I was getting before. And that's because the lock clock stayed applied, even though I closed the program. The best way to close a program, like uh, LOL miner, I think Team Red miner, and most of these should work, is if you don't hit the X, you could always do Control C. And you'll see closing LOL minor and it should clean up and then turn off the clocks and then you should be good to go. So just pay attention to that. Hopefully that helps you out. If you are missing gaming performance, compute performance, rendering performance, whatever it might be after you just got done mining is because the clocks didn't reset. And some NVIDIA drivers do get stuck. Uh, right now, I believe I am on uh, version 5.5. Let's go ahead and open up uh, NVIDIA control panel. Yeah, I'm on fit. I'm on the latest and greatest right now at time of recording 552.12. Uh, but sometimes I update to the latest driver and it performs worse than the last one. So just pay attention when you do install new drivers, when you do install new miners. Is it messing up your stuff? That's why I always love to have hardware info open and up to the right um, on my screen at all times. But I uh, just wanted to share that with you. Uh, good luck to you. And thank you so much for clicking on this video. Do me a favor, hit the like button on the way out, get subscribed, hit the notification bell to stay up to date, and uh, have yourself a wonderful day. I'll catch you next one.